name is Tiffany and my business is called Fake Alicious, Fake Food for the Real World and everybody calls me Sweet Tea, which isn't true, nobody really calls me that, but I wish they would, I've been trying to get them to call me that. Um, I make fake food for the real world and for the fake world, for anybody who will buy it. <laughs> and my star ingredient is one time light white speckle. And all of these things, which I will show you, have been made with the primary ingredient being one time light white speckle. And I call it ingredients because this is my crafty kitchen, which I have actually destroyed making fake food. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with, um, today I'm gonna to show you how, because I have to make this before I leave tomorrow, we're going to Colorado, help my mom move. I'm gonna make a carrot cake. And so I'm trying to get that done tonight, so I'm gonna actually show you how I do it. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you a finished product. It's so beautiful. Let me come around. This is the fruit cake that I made. So pretty. And this is all just, white, I didn't have to add any color to it. It's the one time lightweight speckle. And then I put made some acrylic fruits for the top and ordered some of them off of Amazon. And then I just glued it to this pretty cake stand. And I, I've got it sold and I don't wanna sell it. That's pretty. I make a lot of these fake shakes and uh, this is all the lightweight speckle on top and I just take a a regular ice cream scoop and put it on there and then drizzle um, Mod Podge and paint and stick a straw in it, a little fruit maybe, and it gets really hard. Yeah, it's cute. And this is a dollar candle from Dollar Tree that I just had to put the top on. So that worked out really good. One of my pride and joys, this is a fake -a I make a lot of fake -a This is my favorite one because it's a chocolate martini. And I even fooled the girl that made me the prettiest chocolate martini ever on New Year's Eve this year. And so I got to thinking, I bet I could make that. And so this is actually all, I, I drizzled paint in the bottom of it, and then I put colored spackle in here and tapped it down, let it dry, and then I put more lightweight spackle on, on, with a lighter color on top of it and then I put glue around the rim and that's actually potting soil. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. I took it to her and I said, well, since you made me such a beautiful drink, here's one for you. I went, Bleh. and she jumped and she goes, I can't believe that's not my drink, but this is all speckle and dirt. <laughs> These are something I just made. I got an order for deviled eggs, devilish eggs. Really cute. The bottom part is actually epoxy resin with white coloring in it or just acrylic paint. And then the yolk, can you see it? Is one time lightweight speckle into a cake piping tube and then um, colored with some kind of sunshine yellow. And then I made little fake bacons and little acrylic that's really, that's hot glue. I just colored the hot glue. I painted hot glue blobs for the garnish. And then these little things I call fake cakes. And I do it for all the holidays and that I call them lucky penny fake cakes because I put a lucky penny in the bottom. People think it's really cute. It's actually to balance it out because they get really top heavy. <laughs> Even though it's lightweight speckle, it's still a little top heavy. So I made those for St. Pat's Day, the lucky penny fake cakes. Uh, let's see what else. And then over here, green beer. Now the bottom is actually candle wax, but the top is lightweight speckle, one time lightweight speckle, and it's so perfect because the color and the consistency of it, you can just make it, you can make it creamy or you can make it kind of bumpy like the, the it coming down the side. And then I made some Irish coffee because we went to the Buena Vista in San Francisco last year, fell in love with Irish coffee. That's the birthplace of it here in America. I made some little tiny green beers for dolls. <laughs> I don't know my daughter, granddaughter has American Girl dolls. Probably not a good idea. I made some mint chocolate chip ice cream for St. Patrick's Day. It's This is all um, one time lightweight spackle, except this is um, corn that I painted to look like the chocolate chips, but everything else is lightweight speckle. 
I make these parfaits that are beautiful for the holidays. And this is some kind of a gel, kind of like a, kind of like candle gel. And then the rest of it is all layered with lightweight spackle. And it just looks just like ice cream and whipped cream. It's so pretty. I saw a ton of these. Okay, let me go to the back part. This actually you featured on your Facebook page and your Instagram. And it's one of my favorites. It's spaghetti. <laughs> And all of this, so the this is yarn, so I did yarn, but the meatballs and then the thickening agent and the sauce is lightweight spackle. So I made the one tail lightweight spackle meatballs, and so they were white. I did not color them, and then I just went in and when they were dry, used the different colors of red and browns, and then I put this is actually corn, same thing like the cracked corn that I was talking about. And I used it with one time lightweight speckle, a little Mod Podge, you know, to get the right consistency. And I added food color to that. So that's the meat sauce. Isn't that adorable? That's one of my favorite things. I thought I just, that was one of my first meals that I made because I couldn't wait to do that. But the meatballs, oh, amazing. This is the star of the show. It's like my primary ingredient. We call it that because we're in our crafty kitchen. And this is the star. I use this in everything. I would use it in literally everything I make. And I'm gonna start with showing you. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the obnoxious overhead lighting in my kitchen, and we'll just do it that way. In St. Louis, we have the second biggest Mardi Gras next to uh, New Orleans, believe it or not. And this year, everything was virtual, and it basically didn't happen, so people were having virtual parties. So I made these um, king cakes, complete with the baby. You can't really see it because the light just went off. But I made king cakes. This is almost completely out of lightweight speckle. I did get a floral, a green floral styrofoam um, ring. And then I just layered, like layers and layers and layers of the lightweight speckle on it <laughs> so that it made it look like a cake. And then I painted it once it got dry. And it did take a, a while to dry because I had so many layers on it. And then I took Mod Podge and mixed the lightweight speckle in it so that I would get the consistency of the icing. And then I put the fake baby Jesus on there and added some beads and then people could have their virtual parties and also have a souvenir of the only year that Mardi Gras wasn't. So it's kind of cute, popular, sparkly. And we got this holiday coming up, green beer. <laughs> the bottom is candle wax and then the top is the lightweight speckle. And it's so creamy, you can make it do whatever you want. You can do little drips, or you can just do a foam. And these are great for Irish pubs. I'm selling them for bar displays and little bitty ones for souvenirs because last year, St. Pat's got canceled, at least here in St. Louis. So this is, this is the most unprofessional video. So let me just show you a few more things, and then hopefully I'll get to show you how to do this, this carrot cake, which is going to be lovely. Um, this is one of my, you actually featured this on your Facebook page and Instagram page. It's spaghetti. And these are made from the one time lightweight speckle, the, the meatballs and the meat sauce. I mixed with Mod Podge and cracked corn and colored it to get the consistency of meat sauce. And this is actually string with just Mod Podge on it. And it turned out great. It's my favorite thing. Isn't that cool? Another thing, let's see, I showed you all that stuff. I just got this project and Lee's Chicken wanted me to make, challenged me to make their chicken meal. And so I did, I made the coleslaw out of hamster bedding. <laughs> everything could be got bought at Menards. <laughs> just about everything here can be bought at Menards. And that's why I bought the hat so they know I mean business when I come in. But I used the one time lightweight speckle for the mashed potatoes and it's the perfect consistency because they're really smooth potatoes at Lee's Chicken. I don't know if you have Lee's Chicken nationwide, but I drizzled some colored resin over both of them and some clear resin over this for the gravy. And so that's made out of the one time lightweight speckle. I'm going to make uh, biscuits tomorrow out of the speckle and then paint them with airbrush. This is the chicken, <laughs> which I am very, very proud of. Looks good, huh? I just, this was a popsicle stick and a ball of foil at the top, and then I covered it with the hardening clay, baked it for a little bit, 
and then the brown towels that you get like in um, janitorial supplies I mod podge those over the clay and then today I took the breading and hot glued it painless painfully glued it and now I'm doing shellac and then it will be done and I'm gonna take it to Lee's chicken and they're gonna use it in their marketing so this was such a special occasion that I thought I would open a brand new container I really don't remember what I've said because this has shut off like three times so I'm just gonna go back so whenever I'm starting the cake look how creamy this is oh, I love a brand new container so I just scoop it out like you would icing because that's essentially what you're doing. You can you can frost anything. And this just keeps everything together. I like it for everything because even if, it, if you're not using it specifically for something like this or for frosting, it holds things together. I call it the Spanx of crafts, craft supplies, because it's just so creamy. And I love it. It's the best. I, I've never found anything that, that works like this, ever. And so when I'm starting, I and this does dry fast, and so always remember to put the lid back on because it does. I mean, that's that's the beauty of it. I've actually used this on our walls too. Like every wall in here, I actually do home repairs on top of crafts. But every wall in here has that, and it dries so fast. And that's a great thing unless you're just trying to get a cake frosted, a fake cake <laughs> frosted. So for this, I'm making a carrot cake. And so the on this cake, I really wanted it that, that stark white, really, really spring looking and, and fresh in com contrast to the pretty, pretty fruit. So I just left that white and that's the perfect color. But this one for the carrot cake, I'm adding a little of like an off white color just because I thought most of them are like that and that I've seen pictures of and that I remember they, they kind of have that off white color. So this is, this is not gonna be extremely exciting video, but it is to me <laughs> because I like all this stuff. I have destroyed this kitchen making fake food and I don't know how I'm gaining weight making fake food, but it's entirely possible, trust me. And so you just kind of mix it up, mix it, mix it, mix it. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll try and learn how to do editing and do fast motion. <laughs> not slow-mo. So that looks kind of good. And what I'm going to do first is, oh, that's pretty. And it's just, it's sometimes this thins it out a little bit. And this is already, this is already the perfect consistency. Like some of the other spackles are really thick and kind of gunky and, and chunky. And you kind of almost need something to thin them out. And this one you don't. And so I'm careful how much I add because I like the consistency that it has. All right, now the fun part. And I am it by no means have, I have no experience doing this. I have no background in decorating or knowledge of it at all, except for making my kids birthday cakes whenever they were growing up. <laughs> There's my light again. It's just like nothing but technical difficulty here. So I just start smoothing it on. And this doesn't have to be perfect on this one. On that one, it had to be more perfect because I was doing a set design. On this one, if you look at a carrot cake, it's covered in nuts on the side. And so I'm just putting kind of a, not a, even a generous layer, pretty moderate layer, not sparse because you're going to have to roll it, but I am just kind of putting enough on there that the nuts, I'm using also the cracked corn that I told you about, it's for squirrels. <laughs> and we also feed squirrels out in our backyard. So, but for this project, I'm using the squirrel food for my project. And so I'll show you how I'm going to do this. And I, I've decided I'm going to use the one time lightweight speckle to even make the little carrots on top. I think I can do it. 
and so I'm going to do that last. I might turn this off at some point. So once you get a layer of that on, since it does dry pretty quick, I'm going to go ahead and roll it and then keep frosting as I go around so that the spackle doesn't dry enough to where the, the nuts won't stick. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, that looks really pretty. Oh, I like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because, in fact, these cakes are more perfect than the ones that I actually make. And I, I do like to, to cook. These are a lot prettier. So see? So that's, that's the way that's going right now. I'm going to continue on this, and then once I get to a better spot where I'm going to do the piping, I'll turn it back on. And I have it frosted. And it looks really pretty. And I've got it on these little rounds little cake rounds <laughs> and so I put the leftover oh, this is way too low <laughs> this is the most unprofessional video which welcome to my world I'm not a videographer I put it into the cake bag I just spooned it in here and then you just go I think I'm gonna start at the bottom Flowerettes. See? They're so pretty. So that's how that looks. A little buttercream. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way around. And I'll show you whenever it's over because it's kind of boring. <laughs> Again, not to me. <laughs> So here is how it looks with the little flowerets around the bottom. And I'm going to continue and do that along the top. Maybe put some little places to where land and plant the little carrots on top. So far, I didn't get the carrots on it yet. But it's pretty. I think I'm going to put some, like a little carrot patch right there on top. And it just turned out really pretty. And that's just little cake piping bags and one time lightweight speckle. So I think I'm going to take a picture of it when I get the carrots on because we are going out of town tomorrow and I'm running out of time and I only found out about this contest a week ago. <laughs> but all the pretty things that you can make and I'm just getting started. I just come up with new ideas every day. So I hope that I win because I will just be putting it all back into your product. One time lightweight speckle. <laughs> First prize, yay! <laughs> I'm already winner just finding this. Thanks for being in my crafty kitchen and I hope you enjoyed all the fake food for the real world.